scientists use different types of models. For example, you can have a physical model of a physical object, like a model boat. You can have a physical model of a physical process, like this water table, or an abstract model of a physical process, like this mathematical model. This physical model shows how when more water comes in than goes out, the surface level rises, and when more goes out than comes in, the surface level falls. In other words, as this mathematical model shows, change equals flow in minus flow out. Models reduce complex systems to their basic elements so we can understand them better. Many factors affect the availability of water resources. We have to consider soil conditions, climate, snowfall patterns, how humans use water, the condition of forests, and more. Mathematical modeling help us try and predict how much stream flow there will be, when it will arrive, and how much will be available for us to use. To create a model, we need information on past and current conditions. We also need to hypothesize which physical processes we need to examine, then represent these processes mathematically. We test the model by running it to see how well it reproduces past conditions. After we confirm that the model comes up with similar results to what we observed already happened, we can use it to forecast future scenarios under different conditions. Super powerful computers are needed to run big models like the ones we're developing for CI Water. Performing the calculations by hand would take a person decades. A regular desktop computer could not do the job, so researchers depend on big computing systems such as the University of Wyoming Advanced Research Computing Center, the joint NCAR Wyoming Yellowstone Supercomputer, and the University of Utah's Data Center. These resources have large numbers of processors and are thousands of times more powerful than an ordinary computer. Mathematical models and supercomputers are helping us to see the future of water, so we can make informed decisions about how to use and manage water now and in the future.